Let's divide using the long division method. Outside, far left. Underneath the division symbol, far left. And ask yourself, what do you need to multiply x with to get 4x cubed? You can also look at it as devising the term under the division symbol divided by the term on the outside, far left. Either case, the answer is going to be 4x squared. We're going to place that above the squared family. Now we're going to multiply that term by both terms on the outside by the divisor. So 4x squared times x equals 4x cubed. 4x squared times negative 3 equals negative 12x squared. Subtract. That's going to bring down negative 3x squared. And we're also going to bring down our next term of 11x. We're going to repeat that process outside, far left, under the division symbol, far left, and ask yourself, what are you going to multiply x with to get negative 3x squared? You can also look at it as negative 3x squared divided by x. In either case, it equals negative 3x. We're going to place it above the x family. Now we're going to multiply that term by both terms on the outside. So starting with the outermost. Negative 3x times x equals negative 3x squared. Negative 3x times negative 3 equals positive 9x. Subtract. We're going to bring down a 2x. And we're also going to bring down our last term there. We're going to repeat the process outside, far left. Underneath the division symbol, far left. You're going to ask yourself, what are you going to multiply x with to get 2x? You can also look at it as 2x divided by x. In either case, the answer is 2. We're going to place that above our constant numbers. Next, we're going to multiply that term with both terms on the outside. 2x times x equals 2x. 2x times negative 3 equals negative 6. Subtract. We're going to bring down the negative 4. We don't have any more terms to bring down anymore, so we're done. Uh, so this is our remainder. When you have a remainder, you must attach it to the back of your answer in the form of a fraction, with the top being the remainder and the bottom the divisor. So on top, we're going to have a negative 4 because we have a remainder of negative 4. On the bottom is the divisor. The divisor is always outside. So our divisor is x minus 3. So when it's all said and done, this is our answer.